Hello everyone, welcome back again. Uh, now in this video, we'll design the admin dashboard. Basically, in our web project, web application project, we'll be designing the admin part now. So how the admin will control the website, how the admin will add the product, view the product, view the customer details, view the order details and everything. So that will be like admin zone. So the dashboard for the admin, we can design separately. Okay, we can have the template for it. So now let me show you how to do that. So we'll place that module separately here. So outside all the pages you will see here that will belong to customer or user. So click on the project, right click on the project and let's create a separate folder here named admin. and all the admin side pages will be inside this folder okay so let me right click on it so once like if we want to have all the pages in the admin on the admin side of course there should be like uniformity in all the pages so for that we will have we have to like add one master page for the admin side and we'll create or design the dashboard there in the master page and then we'll keep on creating the content pages there okay i'll show you how to do that so right click on the admin now and click on add then add new item search for the master page scroll down here it is web form master page we'll just rename it on the user side we had user.master for the admin side we'll be having admin.master and then click on add okay i'll close all the other files So we are here and um, I'll remove this ASP content placeholder just for now. Okay. So we have this pure HTML code here with head tag and body tag. Now we want to have a code. We want to design it. So we'll go ahead on Google and search for something called yeah, admin panel HTML W3 schools, W3 schools people are already aware so many tutorials codes are available there so we'll take the help from w3 schools here so click on it you all can see that dashboard tried editor version 3.7 is like available here so click on it other options are also there you can explore on your own so i'm picking up very like a very simple one so that you don't face any difficulty in implementing this so we have here the code in the head tag and you can see the dashboard when we call it dashboard, but of course all the navigation part get placed on the left hand side and the content on the right hand side like this. Okay. So all the web pages of the admin side will be here on the left hand side. So let's see how to implement this. So we have got the head tag here. So let me do the same thing, which we have done before while designing the user.master. So I'm copying the code of head tag here and I'll go to visual studio inside head tag. I'll just place this okay the code which I have just copied okay so all the script files like jquery min.js and bootstrap files will be getting loaded through CDN like this content delivery network online so make sure the internet service is working when you're performing this or making admin page okay if the internet is not working then you will not be able to see the design properly okay uh, so the head part is done okay we'll make the changes few like the title is given like bootstrap example we can write like this here like it is admin dashboard and you will be able to see the title on the tab of the google chrome like this so save it now we also want to have a body tag here but inside body tag we can't place the content here because the content will be placed by the content pages which i'll be creating based on this master page so for that i have to give the permission to all the other content pages so let me uh, place the content placeholder here i'll drag and drop here it should be inside form tag like this save now so like design is a bit of ready basically uh, let me see what else we have got here so the head tag is done and then we have got body inside body we have got one navigation bar okay and inside it 
means we want this part to be like there in the master page of course okay so this age gender geo some links should be the part of the master page of course the logo also so i have to pick up that part also and place that thing inside the body before i guess to place uh, let me see so what we can do we'll just place this whole body code because it is not visible here clearly so i'm copying the whole code and i'll place it on the notepad plus plus so that i get the idea like which tag is getting closed and where like the closing tags so let me open the notepad plus plus here i'll take a new file here i'll place this and i'll change the language to h for html so tags get visible right okay so basically we are interested in this navigation bar okay and this is a bootstrap template so if you change the size of the screen it will respond accordingly so what we are interested in here so the first navigation bar is getting closed here okay and one more navigation bar is here like div container fluid and it is getting close somewhere down i guess so this is the side navigation bar you all can see this is the side navigation bar side nav they have mentioned okay this is the top navigation bar let me show you if i change the if i try to inspect this and if i choose a different devices like this see the response okay like this it will become so they have written the code for all those things so if we change the size of the screen it will respond quickly you can even uh, choose any particular smartphone also from here like how it will look like in Samsung Galaxy A51 like this the dashboard will be visible fine uh we are not interested in that part but we have to now pick up the code right code to place it in the admin page right so for that uh now let me see so this is the navigation bar first and let me place this code let's copy this code and go to visual studio go to admin page and inside the body tag okay now and even inside the form tag i'm placing that code let me save this i can't run the admin.master page so let me right click on it and add content page just to see the content visible like what has been placed on the admin page now so we'll see now like how the web form one has been designed based on the admin master page and then we'll make the changes accordingly so we can't see like nothing nothing is visible fine so we'll go back there again go to the master page okay so nothing is visible if i change the size maybe like it will be visible of the screen but we want to have a side navigation bar so let me go here again sorry not notepad plus plus and now we have container fluid inside it we have got uh this row div tag inside it we have a gender and geo logo and dashboard is there and then there is a break and then dashboard some text dashboard something something like this we have here okay so what we'll do i'm looking at the like deep tag where it is getting close okay so this row content is getting close somewhere down here you all can see so two deep tags are there basically we are interested in basic yeah we can ignore this part this column dashboard some text and all because we want the side navigation bar only which is the logo dashboard a gender geo part so i'll just copy this code from here okay and i'll go to the visual studio and after that navigation tag i'll place this code and of course two div tags are not close so we'll just simply close those two tags 
and we are done let me save this and now let me run the web form 1.aspx which is there in the admin page so you all can see the dashboard now here okay if i change the size of the screen if i try to inspect this so again you will see able to see that code right so basically we have placed both the codes here okay even for that like to the examiner you can explain this bootstrap concept okay it it is responsive to the size of the screen coming back here on the master page so let me again revise it for you all so this code this navigation code is for that mobile screen okay and this container fluid code the side navigation part is for the side navigation bar okay and we can change this thing we can change this thing uh we can write something called like here this is admin dashboard and uh, we can write here a message to welcome admin and we can have pages here like add product view products view customer details and later on you can just add a link here after creating the web pages here okay you can keep on adding as many link you want to have there copy it and then paste it once again so this many links you can have on the admin side on the admin like pages on the admin side so let me save this let me go to the web form 1 right click on it and view in browser so you will be able to see the admin dashboard now so this is the admin dashboard it is saying me like welcome admin and all the pages here so when i will be clicking on this pages the content will get visible here this is how we design the admin dashboard so carefully place the code okay on the notepad plus plus refer it properly like where the tags are getting close and copy paste the code and do the changes accordingly that's all guys from this video if you really like this video press like button and do subscribe to our channel if any queries or suggestions do comment below for more such update follow us on instagram and facebook